everyone. Uh, cooking Chinese food uh, is something that I never learned formally in school. I wish I did, but wala siya sa classes ko. But it's something that is second nature to me, yung Chinese food. Because I grew up with it. Uh, my mom uh, was a great cook in the kitchen. And the ingredients are always there. So, you know, it just went inside my head. That's why it's one of the uh, my favorite flavors to work with, especially in my own for my kids. Okay, so today I'm gonna make something that is very close to my heart because my mom taught me this, and of course, a favorite of my children. I'm going to make Oriental fried chicken. Okay, so I have here a plaque. Look at that. Ha? This is US poultry chicken legs. Okay, so very important. First thing that you need to do, you, there's a joint here. Uh, please, yeah. Okay? Look at that. Ha? Balikin nyo yung joint. Okay? Uh, it's a trick para when you cook it, it stays straight. Ha? And para mukha siya ng malaki. Right? So, let's marinate. Okay? We'll put first soy sauce. Yan. Mm. Yan. Kita nyo, laki ng chicken legs ko. Okay? And then, I have here, okay, Asian food. Oyster sauce. Yan. Then, we can add our garlic. Okay. Five spice powder. Chinese wine. Sesame oil. Sugar. And uh, a little bit of salt. Yan. Very, very simple, ha? And then, massage. Okay? Kita nyo, the legs, ano na siya? Uh, the bone, it's already, like, uh, putol. Ha? So, you just massage. And then, you leave this in the ref, covered overnight, so that the flavor is full, ha? Uh, minimum of four hours, you know, if you're in a rush and you forgot. But, of course, maximum flavor is overnight. Alright? Yeah, so after this has been marinated overnight, put it in a pan. I'm using US poultry chicken legs. Look at that, ah. So big. Okay? And just put it in a pan with the, all the juices, no? All the garlic and all the spice. Alright? And then... Okay, here I have some ginger. Okay, peel it. And then I have some leeks. Okay, so the ginger, normally if they ask me how much ginger, I just say one thumb. So, you know, because it's hard to measure. Yeah. So you just slice and then put it in the chicken. Okay, and then here I have leeks. If you don't have leeks, you can use dahon sibuyas as well. Okay. It's very, very good, you know. The flavors of the leeks and the ginger will go to the chicken. Okay, so very simple. What you need to do is just steam this mixture. Okay, uh, you can use any steamer. But this one, I just have a makeshift because my steamer is actually super big or super small. So I have no steamer of this size. So this is my makeshift. I just put water, uh, a pan there, and then this is my baking pan. Okay, and then I just turn it on and steam for uh, 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, Okay, you start counting your 20 minutes from when the water simmers, ha? Okay, so it is already cooked. And just turn it off. And then this is what you need to do. So the chicken, put it on a rack so it will dry uh, just for like a few minutes. Okay na yan. And then the drippings we will use for the gravy para masarap. So my oil is now at 330. Okay, uh, the usual frying temp is 350. Okay, so you can fry this two ways. Okay, 
uh, para mas safe kayo. You can pat dry with a towel. Okay? And then, fry. Ayan. Dahan-dahan, no? Huwag kayo matakot, ha? Or, you can dredge it in a little flour para sure na matuyo. Maybe one or two minutes na lang, okay na to. Alright, so, kapag naghihintay, I just want to give you more information. I know meron na kayong tanong sa akin. Chef, pwede bang, ano, diretso na lang dito, wala ng steam o naman. You can do that as well. Uh, so, why? Why do you steam and then fry? Okay, uh, first reason, uh, it gives you that fall of the bone texture. It's moist inside and crunchy, you know, like that on the outside. That's why you steam it first. Secondly, you know, many people watch me because they want to get ideas for their business. Uh, say, example, you get an order of 100 chicken legs. It's very hard. Uh, yung tansya-tang siya, no? Na ipa-fry mo siya ng from scratch. But, if you steam, the only thing that you have to think about is actually the skin na lang. So, it makes it easier uh, for people to do it this way for their business. Okay? So, ayan. Naprito ko na siya. Then, lagay natin sa isang rock. Right? Pa para maghintay sa ating gravy. Okay, go ahead tayo ng gravy. Yan. So, ayan na. Naprito ko na siya. Okay, this is about 10 minutes lang. At least, hindi ko na masyadong inisip kung luto. Kasi, na-steam ko na siya. Sure ako na luto na yan. Okay? So, here, I have the drippings. Diba? Ito yung pinag-steam natin. Gawin natin masarap na masarap na gravy. We add uh, one star anise. Okay? Uh, add more five spice powder, if you like. Uh, a little sugar. Uh, this is soy sauce, uh, and then sesame oil, and oyster sauce. Okay, so this is my cornstarch slurry. Yan. So water, and then cornstarch. So this one, let's simmer before we add the cornstarch. Yan. So, nakita nyo, nag-simmer na ang aking gravy, ha? So, I add my cornstarch slurry. Okay? And just wait until it thickens a little. And then, it will clear up. Alright. Alright? And then, you can turn it off and finish it off. This is already maybe a uh, uh, more uh, European touch, no? More American touch to put butter. It's very good. And a little cream. Yan. So this is going to be my gravy. The flavors are all there. The chicken, the leeks, the ginger, the spices. It's really very special. Okay? And then, you can just strain it out. So here, I have my yan, oriental gravy as well. So this is my fall of the bone oriental chicken with gravy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me. But more than that, I hope you're excited to make this for your family or as an addition to your business. Uh, before I go, I want to thank U.S. Poultry for the very nice chicken legs. Uh, sa kanilang chicken legs ito. And I have a surprise. I have a bonus recipe for everybody. An Asian salad with vinaigrette to go with this oriental chicken. So, hintayin nyo yan next. Bye! As promised, here is my Asian salad with vinaigrette to go with my oriental chicken. Okay? So, um, yan. I have here, okay, this is iceberg lettuce. Okay? So, slice nyo lang siya. 
then get some and then you put it in your uh, bowl okay and then what else do i have for my asian salad this is red pepper okay i have carrots i have make sure uh, this doesn't get covered so everybody knows what's inside the salad i have here some snow peas or chicharro okay and then i have some let's add some more carrots here huh? para maganda yung color balance okay and then don't forget okay can add this one for flavor okay green onions then you can add this is one of my favorite uh, u.s dried fruit cranberries dried cranberries it adds flavor to the asian salad uh, even if this is fusion bagay na bagay siya actually you know these cranberries i like to make them papak uh, that's a filipino term for snacking papak okay and then what else? You can put, para may crunch, U.S. sliced almonds. Okay? So, almonds and cranberries to make this nice fusion salad. Okay? So, now, syempre, we have to make a dressing. Let's make our dressing. Okay, so, I have here... Okay, you can use hoisin or plum sauce. It's up to you, ha? Hoisin sauce uh, is more common. Uh, plum sauce is very nice also. So me, I like today to use plum sauce. Uh, I have grated ginger, chopped garlic. I have uh, rice wine. Okay, this is red cane vinegar, water, Sesame oil, sugar, and vegetable oil. Okay, you can use peanut oil uh, or any nice salad oil. Okay, actually, if you don't have a blender, you can do this. And it will come out to be a nice, nice vinaigrette. Okay, the blender will make it into an emulsion. you serve you can add the dressing just before you serve okay you don't need to put it right away ha para hindi malanta yung gulay right so that's your dressing and uh, just to make it more asian no nice if you can add a little bit of crunch this is just one ton wrapper you can add a little bit so it's crunchy as well so this is my Asian salad with the vinaigrette to go with my oriental chicken and gravy. I have another surprise, another recipe to complete my oriental set. I'm going to make the most requested Chinese uh, cake, huat ke. Uh, this is a very common cake, steamed cake para sa mga walang oven. This is great, no? Uh, this is very common in the Chinese bakeries. So today, because I'm in my oriental mode, I'm going to make it for you as well. Using U.S. golden raisins. Para naman, it's more special. Okay? So let's start. This is very, very simple. Ha? I have here some ingredients. This is flour, all-purpose flour. Okay? You have to reserve some. Okay? Doesn't matter. Basta ganyan lang. And then, this is baking powder. 
I have here. Today, I want to use Moscovado. You can use brown sugar. But, you know, the Moscovado tastes great also. A ah, little bit of white sugar. This is vegetable oil. And it's very, very simple. You just mix. Okay, this one, this is water, okay, uh, na pinagbabaran ko nung golden raisins. Because, you know, uh, I want the flavor of the golden raisins to go into our what? Okay, that's how my dad says that, you know, what? Okay, ganyan. <laughs> so, that's how I say it also. So, there, ha? Huh? It's just a very nice butter. So, just keep on mixing until everything is well incorporated. Alright, so as you saw, I set aside some flour. Why? Uh, because this is my golden raisins, no? I'm going to dredge it in some flour. We do this when we add it to cake. So, it stays in the cake and it doesn't sink all in the bottom. Okay? Amen. So, you add it to the butter, and then you fold. Mm. This is a very nice fusion of watke and golden raisins. Golden raisins always go well with, you know, brown sugar and muscovado. So, so after you mix it very well, okay, this is like a ramekin. You can use any baking pan, ha? that's very small lang. Maybe three inch baking pan. Put parchment. You can tie it with a nice string. And put your butter inside. You can put it like uh, maybe 80% full. Yan. Right? And then you put it in your steamer. Okay. You want it to be uh, puffy on top. I think that's the meaning of what ke. What means uh, something rising. So it's a lucky cake. So it's double lucky because it's what and it's golden raisins. I think I just made that up because of the Chinese in me. <laughs> we like all things lucky. So I make about four ramekins. Okay, and then just put it in your steamer. You can see it's already steaming, oh, the water is already simmering. Then you can cover it and start counting 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, oh my, how nice. That's why it's called uh, Wat Ke because it has risen perfectly. So this is my US Golden Raisins Wat Ke. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I always love seeing finished products, especially those that I don't uh, make every day. I get really excited. So this is double lucky, huh? This is already what came with U.S. Golden Raisins. So I hope you enjoyed my Oriental set today. Uh, this is like a three-in-one video with my Oriental fried chicken and gravy and then my Asian salad with a plum vinaigrette and my U.S. Golden Raisins, uh, what can. So thank you very much, U.S. Poultry, U.S. Nuts, U.S. Dry Fruits, and California Golden Raisins. Uh, thank you for this opportunity that I can present something uh, very nice and very useful, especially in times like this. Sana magamit na tong recipe ko, whether pagkain sa bahay or ipagpindan nyo, kahit ano, basta ikasasaya. Until my next video, bye!